Well, good morning viewers. Today we have a 2016 Hyundai Elantra. It's here for some routine maintenance, but the airbag warning light is on. That's this symbol here right beside the open door. So we're going to have to scan it and see what codes it has to generate. It's got 117,000 kilometers. Let's throw the scan tool on it and see what code it's uh, reporting. So we're going to put in the mileage. 117629. Let's do a code scan. I think I can do this with it running. I'm going to try. Anchor pretension front passenger resistance too high. So the seat belt retractors have a pyrotechnic device in them that explodes on the deployment of the airbags to cinch the occupant in the seat, cinch the seat belt up so that pretensioner has high resistance. Now that could be a pretensioner failure, it could be a wiring issue. Uh, if the seat belt retractor or pretensioner moves with the seat, the wires obviously have to move back and forth with the seat, so sometimes that's a problem. So far, we've scanned eight controllers and only the airbag computer has a code to offer. Hyundai's are pretty slow doing a network scan. Nine. Body control, cluster, smart key unit. Eleven computers, and that's the end of it. So let's go into the airbag control module and see if it gives us data. Event one, event two, what the heck is this? Huh. No data? System identification, codes, clear code, system tests. Now I don't want to do any kind of coding. Let's back out right out to the main screen here. Let's go into the airbag. And same thing, event one, system tests. ACU SRC, SRSCM variant coding. Normally you'd have a data list where you'd see the various resistances. Well, that sucks. Well, I'm gonna do a little research here and see what the sets this B1734-00. So I'm in Identifix. I deed the vehicle as a 2610 Elantra DT, and I'm searching for B173400. No documents. Let's try dropping the 00. Hmm. Let's double check that code. One seven three four zero zero. Well, isn't that special? Do we have any service literature on this thing? OEM wiring diagrams, color wiring diagrams. Let's go into service manuals then. Let's go into DTC manual, airbag event one. One, seven, three, four. One, seven, three, four doesn't, it, oh, there it is. Why isn't, why doesn't that come up when I do a keyword search? B173400. General information. Let's see what it says about this. 
I'm going to shut the car off. So the seatbelt pretensioner is part of the retractor assembly and I would expect it to be in the B pillar which is the pillar between the front and the back doors on the passenger side. It says never measure resistance of the anchor pretensioner because that could cause deployment. Sets if the measured resistance value of the anchor pretensioner passenger circuit is more than the threshold value. Usually it's about two and a half to three and a half ohms, but usually you can see that. Check resistance. It said never measure resistance, but then it says detecting condition, check resistance. Now you would tell me that a, a novice tech isn't going to make a mistake here. Hmm, diagnostic time, 100 milliseconds times 10. So I wish they would tell you what the, well, maybe they tell you. Those two pins on the SRS controller, we could check continuity of the wiring, but if it was me, I would disconnect the pretensioner and put a simulator resistor across it and see if the code goes to history. If it does, then the assumption is the pretensioner is defective. It says not to measure its resistance. Scan tool diagnostics. Let me see if they can list data because maybe it's just a scanner. Sure, it does. Current data. Look at that. So it shows data on the scan tool. So it's just that the snap on scan tool doesn't report data. So that would show me the retractor pretensioner resistance 2.4 ohms. I'm going to try another scan tool. So I'm going to use the Think Tool Pro to scan this thing. Should auto ID. It's like a Vegas slot machine. Come on. Baby needs a new pair of shoes. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Diagnosis. This is going to pull up a topology map. Sixteen pin DLC. Automatic search. General area. Let's just go into SRS. There's SRS1 and SRS2. Let's do a smart scan. See which one has a code in it. SRS1 has a code in it. SRS2 has a code in it. Well, that was painful. Same code, B173400. Let's go into this and see if we have data list. Read data stream. Come on, snap on. Current data. Let's select all. And say OK. So there's our problem. Buckle anchor pretensioner resistance is 13.914 ohms. Driver side one is 2.7, 2.8, 2.6, 2.4. So normally they're two and a half to three and a half ohms, most manufacturers. So that's the problem right now. Now that could be just some oxidized terminals, but let's graph that while we go in there and manipulate the wiring harness. So I'm between the front and back seat. I'm looking in through the back seat and this is the seatbelt retractor here. 
And this car is immaculate inside compared to the vehicles I normally get. So there's the pretensioner's current resistance. I'm going to move the retractor. Oh, look at that. I tap, tapped on the, just tapped it right here like this. You can see the resistance went to 4.7 ohms. So we're going to pull this sill plate off and see if we can get at the connections. I bet you it's just oxidized terminals. So there are two screws holding this trim panel down in under the back seat. So tilt it forward and remove these two screws. You need two hands. So you pull the front and rear sill plates up and then you can get in here and pry with the release tool these clips and the panel comes off now. Normally it'd be these yellow wires down here so I'm going to manipulate those yellow wires while I watch the resistance. So it's actually in spec now. And All I did was take this panel off, moving the wires down. Oh. Ah, there it is. There's the pretensioner right there. So it's in spec now. I'm going to take this connector off and deoxidize it. There's a little bit of moisture oxidation, but not serious. So that comes off by prying up on that little orange clip. Now you can see it's gone to 25 ohms with it disconnected because it's an open circuit. And I think that's the default. Uh, I was manipulating it and it was changing. Now this doesn't look oxidized and those are gold-plated terminals. So we're gonna put some Stabilitin 22A in the terminals, snap it back on and see what happens. So I swear by this Stabilitin 22 focus. So we're gonna put a drop in each terminal here. Now that I know where this is. Let's look at the resistance here. 2.3 ohms. And I'm wiggling the connection and it's nice and stable. So we're gonna reassemble this thing and clear the code. Actually, let's clear the code now. All right, so I'm going to clear the code. Read fault codes. No trouble codes. Let's see if the if the trouble code is in. Please exit the current. Oh, got a back so you got to clear it in both events well I'm gonna put this back together and give it back to the customer with the understanding that if it happens again they're gonna have to change that uh, pretensioner and likely the pigtail